What's going on, YouTube? Graves into here, and welcome back for episode number 45. Hopefully, you enjoyed the time lapse of how this um, this whole island was constructed. It certainly took uh, took me a long time. If I um, if I combined all the hours, I would say probably about five hours playing around with different kinds of ideas and um, and everything that uh, that would kind of work for this particular island. It definitely does look like a uh, like a man-made island. It's um, like a resort, if you will. But um, I think it uh, I think it turned out pretty well. give you a uh, whole overview and then we'll get into um, get into how everything is uh, planned out so let's start over here on this end I do have a uh, cargo uh, cargo dock over here that is because we don't have any road connections for this particular area so all of um, all of the goods are gonna have to be imported via ship over here we do have a uh, subway station I'm not sure if that was uh, that was included in the time lapse. Actually, um, I don't think it was, but that is something that I did decide to uh, to put over here on the island. And then uh, we do have a uh, monorail as well, and that this uh, this actually loops around the uh, the whole city. Over here, I uh, really like how this uh, turned out. This is a um, a canal that I built where we have a uh, ferries. Hello, blimp. Where we have a uh, ferries coming through on either side and uh, hopefully you uh, you saw on the time lapse that uh, they are active and they're uh, they're moving along we do have a uh, couple of unique buildings over here built this is uh, this particular one right here is the tallest building that you can have in the game and I believe that this is something that um, that us on Xbox have access to and um, Apologies for for those on PlayStation 4, as I believe this is one of the uh, one of the mods. A couple of additional uh, unique buildings that it uh, that I've placed. I forget the name of this uh, this tall one over here, but that's something that I uh, that I put in as well. We did in fact get a stadium. And I'm thinking I'm gonna change this uh, this color from red to uh, to blue. Here you can kind of see the uh, the center of the island itself. I think it looks uh, looks pretty amazing. And then as far as everything else goes, of course, I have uh, kind of made this um, as symmetrical as possible. So that's a little bit of the uh, the OCD coming out in me. We do have uh, some plazas around, and then uh, pretty much everything on this, uh, this right side is duplicated as it is over here on, uh, on the left. I am... Uh, I'm excited to get into this with you guys and uh, start zoning. I do have a um, I have a plan for over uh, four zones, at least for this middle section for now. So, if you guys look at these um, the monorail road, so everything within this um, this big triangle that's covered by the uh, the monorail railroad um, that is going to be uh, tourism tourism specialization right in the center of the island. And then on the sides, we're going to have some uh, commercial. And then finally over here, I've decided to uh, to put either some offices probably over here on the ends so we can provide some uh, some jobs for these folks over here on uh, on the island. And then in the center over here, we're going to have some high density residential. So that's kind of um, what I've decided to uh, to do here before we uh, begin zoning. 
we are sitting at uh, 4.6 million. So this whole uh, this whole uh, build actually cost about uh, two million, including uh, terraforming and um, deleting buildings, putting new buildings in, things uh, things like that. Just playing around with um, with the design. We do have sixty thousand, nearly sixty thousand um, dollars coming in. A hundred and eleven thousand, as far as population goes, and um, we actually took a took a fall there for uh, for a little while. We went down to a uh, hundred and nine, and um, it recently just bounced uh, bounced back up to a hundred and eleven thousand. And as you can see, we do have a uh, pretty strong demand for residential and commercial. And I think that uh, when we zone all of the um, the tourism specialization over here in the uh, the center, which I have yet to make a district for, by the way, I think that demand is uh, gonna go away. Also, during the uh, the build. If you take a look over here, because we lost so much population, and of course there was a uh, death wave going on over, um, and all of that uh, put together, we have uh, we have come across the same problem that we had before, which is a bunch of um, abandoned buildings, a shortage of workers, and um, things of that nature. Which, again, I'm not uh, too concerned about this. This is something that um, that should fix itself fairly soon. One thing that I am concerned about is uh, how our budget is going to uh, going to react once we activate all of these buildings, because they uh, they do cost money. As you can see, pretty much everything is deactivated except for um, the uh, the metro, which I forgot to uh, forgot to turn off. I have um, put in a power connection that actually starts over here kind of alongside of the map away from uh, hopefully this guy is not stuck on the uh, the power line um, but it goes uh, it goes all the way around and I have a connection over here to uh, to this uh, dock and it comes back over here on this side and connects to uh, to this dock as well power transfer I think is going to be a uh, Pretty interesting on how we uh, we come to accomplish that. I was thinking about maybe running a uh, power line, a temporary power line from uh, from here over here. And actually, let's um, let's go ahead and do that. That's uh, that's a pretty good idea if it'll work, of course. Okay, perfect. I am gonna go ahead and um, activate all of these buildings. There we go, including the, uh, the cargo docks. And as far as colors go, let's go ahead and uh, change that right now. I've already picked a, um, a color. I mentioned before it's going to be blue. Looks like our next match is going to be... Uh, first one was cancelled because probably the uh, the stadium it was, uh, was turned off. So next match is going to be... October 29th of 2043. So that's in about uh, four, actually, about seven months from now. Hmm. Okay. No worries.
think. Oh, one more. There we go. All right, so that should um, that should be all of the buildings. They should all be active right now. As you can see, we do have the uh, the power connection there, but um, nowhere else to be found. So my thought is to uh, to start zoning. Or actually, we have to come up with a uh, district first, and uh, this is probably going to be fun now that we have uh, that we don't have snapping. So and um, I'm gonna fill uh, I'm gonna fill this in and I will be right back. All right guys, I'm back and uh, this is what I meant. That's uh, that's all going to be uh, tourism specialization. So let's go ahead and uh, make it that. There we go. And um, here we can uh, we can start zoning commercial. So I will. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the game on three speed to help this develop. And as far as power goes, temporarily, we're going to do this and that. And there we go. And um, to transfer power, I'm going to do this. That should work and transfer power over here to uh, to the stadium, as well as all of the um, all of the rest of the buildings. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, duplicate that over here on this side. And once all of this. Uh, comes in we should have uh, we should have power to uh, to pretty much majority of the island while that's uh, filling up I did see that we are uh, just uh, just about to run out of power and um, what I will do just thinking about putting another one of these Actually, why not just uh, come back over here into this area and put it in here? There we go. I think that uh, that should be good for now. Oh, and look at that. We have power. Perfect. So. We'll, uh, we'll continue zoning the uh, the high density um, commercial, and we're gonna do that right there, and that right there for now. Let's just do uh, the transfer power throughout uh, throughout the island here. So whatever builds, wherever it builds first, we'll uh, we'll take it. And over here, we can start a little bit of a uh, high density residential. Actually, let's just do um, one block for now. And then we're gonna go ahead and put one of these um, paradox plazas right here because it uh, it fits perfectly. And from there, we're going to transfer power. If it'll let us. And it will. There we go. So, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see some power transfer over over here. Some of these uh, metros and uh, monorails are still offline. And uh, by the way, 
I think I forgot and I'm pretty sure I did to put in stops for the monorail and look at that I did all right so um, the thought behind this whole thing is to have one big route connecting the uh, actually we can easily make two so one that's gonna come back on itself did I just make a I did um, it's gonna come back on itself So what I'm gonna do here There we go That works for me And then um, I just I went ahead and I moved it from uh, from Over here to over here Because we're gonna make an additional route That's uh, it's coming out this way Alright, so we're gonna come uh, we're gonna come over here. Maybe if there was a then we're gonna come over here. Gaze at a gazelle. Lock eyes with the lemur. And come back. At the city zoo, you can experience the wild in our wildness exhibition. Actually, we certainly could have to meet our newest addition, a three toed sloth named Barbara. Just done uh, with her smile done this. and hook you again with her curved toes, used to grasp trees in the wild. After that, take a gander at another new species. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep that. Here we have uh, the monorails in action. Fun for the whole family. Book now and get a free... We have the ferries there as well. Limit four per family while supplies last. We'll look forward to seeing you where the animals live in rooms painted to look like home. The cities... And uh, we do have a demand for residential. So let's go ahead and... Uh, trust us with your money. Fill that in right there. That we can make you more money. How? It's not funny business. It's money business. You give your and uh, at some point, I may even add some uh, some buses over here to um, to this area. Of course, I will have to um, I will have to make a um, a bus depot. And uh, now that I think about it, we are going to need trash. So as far as um, trash goes. We are going to use incinerators, and we're going to put one there, and we're going to put one there. I think that should be uh, plenty sufficient to cover the island itself. And we are also going to need uh, healthcare. Healthcare, I think. Perfect. There we go. There's one there. And uh, one there, so we're gonna we're gonna keep the uh, the symmetry going. We're gonna do the same thing uh, on on each side. So two crematoriums, two um, two hospitals. Hopefully, hopefully that uh, that has oh yeah, plenty of coverage for uh, for the whole island. We're also gonna put in two large fire stations, and those we can put. I'm gonna put them right there. There we go. And we're gonna do the same thing with the police stations. Oh, so close. So, one there. Opening. I think that's the uh, the right spot. Yep. Okay. 
more uh, more demand for residential. So let's go ahead and uh, fill in this uh, whole block right here. We are gonna have to take care of uh, schools and um, uh, parks and everything, uh, everything of that sort as well. And uh, let's check out the uh, the harbor here. We have 38 passengers, 15 passengers. So as the uh, the area develops, we're gonna of course have more people. There's some uh, folks right there utilizing the uh, the blimp service. This one, uh, this one as well. What about the uh, the ferries? Two passengers last week. Seven on this one. So not uh, not the most popular choice. Zero passengers there. Oh, this one's got 48. Let's uh, check this one out and uh, see it unload. Oh, look at that. That was uh, quite the eject. Let's see if there's any people in this one. Yeah. Alright, it's uh, looking good. I think it's about time that we, uh, we zone more um, tourism. So let's try um, try that big old uh, big old block right there, and uh, we'll see how uh, how that goes. See over here. Yeah, we're uh, we're still pretty abandoned, but that's okay. Our uh, our budget dropped to uh, thirty four thousand, which I I uh, if I'm being honest, I, I expected it to drop a lot more than uh, than uh, than it did. But I think we're okay. I just, uh, I think, uh, I think this right here is just absolutely, uh, absolutely beautiful. And then you've got this hidden building over here, kind of like, um, for example, this one was built first, but then another guy came in and built an even taller one and just kind of, uh, kind of hid his building. And the owner of the smaller building is now very mad. Wow, look at the uh, look at all the people moving in. We have 325 people moving in, which means that we can uh, easily start zoning more residential. And I think we're just uh, recovering from um, from the death wave that we had. And these guys are now complaining about uh, not enough goods to sell. Oh. Forgot to turn that on. Is this one on? This one is on. Okay. So, hopefully, um, hopefully we're gonna we're gonna be able to get by having uh, having the uh, the ships deliver all the goods to uh, to this uh, this part of the city, and that this won't be a a constant problem. It's gonna be a little bit a uh, little bit upsetting if it is because it took uh, took quite a while. To uh, to make this happen, and now to to just have it um, not work because of uh, not enough goods. So yeah, definitely hoping that this uh, cargo dock over here works out for us and uh, and in our favor. Alright guys, so I've let the uh, let the game run a little bit and um, 
since activating this uh, this cargo dock over here. Looks like uh, the demand for um, for not enough goods has calmed down, which is uh, certainly good to see. Um, we're having a uh, small problem with uh, not enough customers, which you know will happen once you build uh, once you build so much of the um, the tourism specialization that there's uh, not enough people on this particular island yet. Um, also, the other thing that I did is I added some uh, some schools, so elementary, high school, and um, I forget the name of this. I think it's the faculty building. Yeah, faculty building, which uh, which also serves as a uh, university. Um, not to forget. Next to our high school, we have to put in the uh, the skating rink. As you can see, I've done the uh, the same thing over here on this side. And there we go. There's uh, certainly a lot of uh, a lot of traffic going on over here now, as far as boats and uh, ships and everything, ferries. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, blimps uh, moving around as well. Moving people back and forth. Uh, I want to check on the uh, the monorails. Oh, that's not it. There we go. They're uh, they're pretty popular themselves. But all right, guys, I um. I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode over here. I think uh, I think this turned out to uh, to be uh, pretty cool, especially with, uh, with a lot of activity. I can't wait to see it when it's uh, when it's all filled in. Off camera, I'm more than likely gonna go ahead and uh, just um, um, put the uh, the parks around. That way we uh, we have that covered, and I might even do a little bit of a uh, little bit more uh, more zoning, just to uh, to fill in the island. As I mentioned before, we, we are. Um, we are pretty close to uh, to the end of the series. What uh, what I would like from you guys is um, down in the comments box below. I would like for um, I'd like for you to help me name this city. I have a couple of names in mind. I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna reveal them, but um, I think we need a better name than uh, than Lakefield. I think you would uh, you would agree. So, um, go ahead and uh, put uh, put the name that uh, that you think would be suitable for uh, for our beautiful city over here down in the uh, the comment box below, and um, I'll take a look and uh, I'll take uh, I'll pick one of the uh, one of the names that uh, that you guys suggest as opposed to uh, as opposed to me. And uh, thank you guys so much for uh, for watching. If you like the episode, go ahead and give it a like. That really helps out my channel. If you are not subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. That too helps out my channel. We're actually approaching 900 subscribers right now, um, which is uh, which is absolutely fantastic. And guys, as always, have a good time.